a new fit feature to the Smart Notebook 15 is the GeoGebra add-on, and this can be used for any grade level, literally down to elementary, K1, 2, all the way up to grade 12. Um, you're going to find it in your toolbar if you've got it loaded in there in your little puzzle piece, or you're going to see it down on the side, over on the left-hand side, you're going to see a little puzzle piece. So we, you've got two locations to find it. Um, if you don't have it up on the top, you can use your little gear, gear over on the side to get it and, and move it into there. Um, the GeoGebra widget up here is the little polygon with the little dots. So when we click on it, we get instantly a graph. This is one portion of, of the GeoGebra piece that I'm going to show you. So simple in here, if you're drawing graphs or, or writing graphs or, or looking at any of that, this is a simple feature. You literally can take, pick up your pen off of your smart board. You can write an equation. And once you get it wrote, you get your pointer back, put your pen down, select your your equation, drag it over to the graph, and ta-da, you get a graph. Literally then now what you can do is these graphs can move. You can do uh, you can do additional graphs on top of this as well. So you can go and write another one if you want to look at comparing um, two graphs. You can do that too. And I'm trying to do this on my mouse, using my mouse and not a pen, so it's a little trickier. Um, go back, grab your arrow again select your equation, pull it over, and it didn't pull in there. Okay, so maybe somehow it's it's literally a drag and drop, so it should work. It's recognizing it as text right at this moment, but literally it will show another graph on here. So that's one feature. The other feature, I'm just going to get a blank page here, is to show you the little um, um, add-on on the side, the puzzle piece. When you click on that, your GeoGebra widget is at the top again. Same as what you've got over here. It does the exact same thing. It's going to pull up a graph. But the feature I want to show you here is you can go in and search. This is There are 55 different widgets that are already set up in here that that have been created. So they're almost they're like little interactive um, activities that you can show. So if you want to put some visuals into your lesson, um, different math concepts or whatnot, you literally search whatever you whatever you need to that you're teaching. So for example, I can search fractions and I will come up with a whole bunch of widgets that pertain to fractions. So in here, if I look through here, I can find Here's two fraction bars. So I can click on it, drag it in, or I can just double click. No different than any of the other things that we've been that you can drag into your notebook file. So in here, what you see are two fraction strips, and you've got you can set your denominator and um, numerator. So you're literally scrolling these your numerators and denominators to show the difference between um, what happens when you're when you're moving them, how it changes your everything. Pretty fun, pretty, you can start to talk about equivalent fractions here. You can look at adding fractions and, and so forth. So that's a neat feature. Um, other ones, you it, you can look up algebra tiles on here and do them. Um, it actually has in here as well, um, you can look up integers. You can do integers with this. So it's not just a graphing tool. Um, it is kind of like a, a manipulative virtual kind of visual tool as well. So that's kind of a, a good um, feature to this. I quite like it. So it I've just searched a few things, but I know sky's the limit on this and where you can go with this. So you can um, you'll find tons of features in here that will probably apply to you as well. And here is the positive and negative tile. So again, if you're getting into um, changing and adjusting things like you can they've got these little sliders and in the GeoGebra widget with the graphing tool you can take the graph away and you can do a lot of these things and create your own in there sky's the limit of that what you can do with that as well so you can start talking about um, um, making opposite numbers here and and how they cancel each other out and you've got lots of options in here where you go so that's just a couple of the features um, again hopefully you have a chance to to play around with it and look to see what what's in there for you but like i said there's 55,000 different widgets in here so chances are there's something that you will find that will pertain to you good luck enjoy